Hello and welcome to the cigar area. I'm Mike Simmons and tonight I'm going to be enjoying the Hammer and Sickle Moscow series. Uh, this cigar was sent to me from Hammer and Sickle from uh, Eric Wentworth and I want to say thank you right off the bat Eric and Hammer and Sickle for sending this to me to review. Uh, this is a 6x50 Vitola, uh, not listed on the website. Uh, there are three sizes on the Hammer and Sickle website in this particular cigar. And I think it's a 6 and a half by 56 5 and a little over 5 and a half by 54 and then there's a, a short Robusto as well. Four and a half by fifty, I believe, something like that. Uh, this is a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper with Dominican binder and Dominican fillers. I have never had one of these. Okay, Eric sent me a nice sampler of of the uh, hammer and sickle line and uh, I've already reviewed one of the uh, tradition series and the hermitage and I still have three more I believe so it took me a little while to get back to this and I apologize for that not only to Eric you and to myself because it's been a while since I've had a hammer and sickle and I'm looking forward to this and I just got back from doing getting my income tax done and I feel like I've had a hammer and sickle taken to me so I need to recover with something nice so here we go <laughs> there's a political joke in there somewhere job cutting and that there I'll do it so this is a full bodied cigar with uh, a well aged broadleaf wrapper so I am expecting a real treat here if it's anything like any of the other hammer and sickles that I've had it will be delicious so I have a lot of faith in this trust me I don't come back from the tax man after taking a hit and want to smoke a dog. I want to smoke something that's going to be good. So that's why I picked this. Mm. First puff, very rich and earthy. Nice bit of spice on that retro hail. Making my eyes water. That's a that's a chore. Making my eyes water. <laughs> Ooh, some potency there. Some nice spice on the finish. Quite a tart, bright kind of a spice. Looks like I'm in for a treat. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Something hearty, rich spicy Looks like that's the path I'm on so I will be back after I venture into the first third here see what happens okay back with the hammer and sickle Moscow City series 
Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. Actually, that's not all I can say. Man, I cannot remember the last time I had a cigar that had this many flavors already. I, I just lost the ash a couple seconds ago, about three quarters of an inch of ash. I got that richness in the beginning, that blast of, it was like a red pepper that actually burnt my nose and eyes. Well, it, this thing just launched right into flavors. I mean, yeah, usually if I come up with three flavors throughout the course of a cigar, I'm doing pretty well. So far, coffee, molasses, red pepper spice on the finish. There's a nuttiness, uh, uh, not cashew, not almond, but hazelnut, sweet hazelnut. Reminds me of uh, hazelnut coffee. Creamy, cedar. It's just, I can't even believe it. I cannot believe how flavorful this thing is. And it's, it's marketed as full-bodied. It is definitely full-bodied, full-strength. Uh, it's uh, this is a butt kicking cigar so far. <laughs> I I just can't believe how flavorful it is. It's uh, this is very quickly becoming my new favorite. Uh, I know these were uh, limited production, too. There were only so many boxes of these produced. Initially, I don't know if that's changed at this point, but uh, I'm definitely going online and looking to purchase some of these because this is, uh, I don't like to use the term flavor bomb because it's so overused, but if I were going to use that term, I'd use it on this cigar. And I'm only, I'm only going into the second, third here. I mean, I'm stunned. I really am stunned. I mean, I like the Hermitage. That's one of my favorite cigars. I'm smoking those for a while. Uh, the other ones that I smoked from Hammer and Sickle, uh, also tasty. This is... I'm going to keep smoking. We'll see what else happens. <laughs> I don't know how, how prepared I am for any more, but uh, so far so good. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, welcome back to the cigar area <clears throat> with the Hammer and Sickle Moscow City series. Uh, I wanted to mention earlier, this cigar, this uh, Connecticut broadleaf wrapper very few very fine veins very tight seams uh, the burns a little a little curvy right now taking a little bit of a dip there that's the first this has happened uh, well into the second portion Ooh, flavors I changed up a bit uh, started off with uh, creamy coffee, cedar, uh, molasses, red pepper, spice on the finish, very potent, very strong, it's still very potent, full body, full strength, the pepper has calmed down a bit to a, to a black pepper, <laughs> if you can call that calm, uh, and there's a, an addition of a, of a nice creamy chocolate in there too. And these flavors are, are noticeable. They were very easy for me to pick up. I mean this, you take a puff and you just let it settle on your tongue and all these, all these things come through even more on the retro hail. Uh, very pleased with this. I uh, got about three quarters of an inch of ash, but looks like it's going to fall off, so I'm going to tap it. Uh, looks like the burn's starting to straighten out a little bit as I 
speak here. Very flavorful. Very potent. This is not something I would smoke on an empty stomach. I like strong cigars. <clears throat> and uh, this is definitely strong. Not for a beginner by any means, but uh, if you're a seasoned smoker, you like strong cigars. This is a good choice. I'm. <laughs> uh, I have mixed feelings about smoking this. I, I can, on one hand, I can say, "Wow, I wish I would have smoked this weeks ago." You know. Now that I know how good it is. You know, on the other hand, uh, I want to say I'm glad I chose tonight. <laughs> so. I'm going to continue into the final third here, <clears throat> see if we get any more changes. I'm going to take the uh, take the band off at this point before we go any further. Because I'm going to get... pretty close to it soon. Okay. I'm about an hour and 15 minutes into this right now. So, about, <clears throat> probably about halfway through, maybe a little more. So it's good, long-lasting smoke as well. I want to show you this band. Beautiful red and metallic silver with the uh, some of the Moscow buildings on there and the hammer and sickle logo and the symbol at the bottom. It says Moscow City. Beautiful. Add to my collection. So I'm going to continue on here and. Uh, not like it's any kind of burden, because it's not. <laughs> uh, but I'll be back in what will seem like no time. Okay. <clears throat> back in the final third with the Hammer and Sickle Moscow City series. What a cigar. Third, third. Proved to be just as tasty as the rest. Um, still has the creamy cedar, still has the chocolate, still a touch of molasses in there, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> still <coughs> nice black pepper spice on the finish, uh, there's an additional uh, nutty woody kind of flavor, I, I, I would say oak, that's what I, when I think of when I get this flavor, I, <coughs> seen oak used in other cigars that I didn't really taste or identify with but when I taste this particular flavor of a nutty woody kind of uh, a note I think of oak so I'm gonna say oak uh, still it's it's mellowed a bit in the final third but still in the medium high medium to low full body and strength up to not too long ago <clears throat> it was still very very potent <clears throat> just started to uh, to mellow out in the last few minutes but the uh, burn straightened itself, itself out quite nicely not a perfect char line, but didn't require any touch-ups. I I might just have to say this is my new favorite <laughs> cigar. <laughs> uh, 
I hope I can get my hands on some more of these. Um, it's just fantastic. And like I said, it's not for a beginner smoker. Uh, this is someone who has been smoking for a while. Someone who favors a stronger cigar. Because otherwise it will knock you on your butt. But it tastes so good. We've had flavors right from the beginning. That strong red pepper on the start, you know, all the way through into the second portion where it turned into black pepper and it's remained. We have creamy cedar, coffee, molasses. I still taste the molasses in there too. There's still a, there's a sweetness and the chocolate running through it. It has not lost any of that. Uh, and uh, nutty, woody flavor near the end. This is definitely a 10 out of 10. No questions. Uh, excellent, excellent cigar. So if you can get a hold of any of these, by all means do it. Great cigar. Hammer and Sickle. Moscow Series. Uh, I'm sure any size you can get will be a blessing. Great cigar. So I want to thank Hammer and Sickle again for sending this to me. Eric Wentworth, thank you very much. <laughs> you have no idea how much I appreciate this. And uh, until next time, I'm Mike Simmons. This is the Cigar Area. Please check out my other YouTube videos and my website, thecigarareria.com. Come on and send me an email, enter the contest. I'm getting more and more entries each month. Uh, this month I'm giving away a stinky ashtray for the car. Nice flip top unit. has a holder on it. You can actually use it outside of the car as well. It's a nice single cigar ash can. So... <clears throat> Until next time, thanks again for tuning in, and happy smoking. I know I did some happy smoking tonight. Darker fish cleave, creamy seas, and all I'm left with is a breeze. Doesn't even reach my knees, it's too much in this world for free.